What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop or welcome to the shop. What do we got going on today? We got a workhorse in the shop that doesn't run. We got a burnout Ford in reverse module on it. And uh, we're gonna upgrade this thing to the Ford in reverse contactor, the heavy duty uh, setup. These guys use this to tow stuff. They're on the side of a mountain and uh, they need a little bit more heavy duty setup than what come from the factory. So anyways, today we're gonna get it in the shop and we're gonna show you how we installed this heavy duty forward and reverse contactor. Let's get in the shop and show you how it's done. Guys, we got the uh, cart in the shop. We're gonna take the forward and reverse module off and um, start getting prepped for the wiring for the new forward and reverse contactor. So I'll give you a quick overview of what we're gonna do and I'm gonna do it and I'll bring you back. First things first, safety first. We're gonna remove uh, one of our main battery wires. I like to do the main negative. We're gonna re uh, remove that. Then we're gonna start working on the F and R board. I don't know if you can see or not. See if I can get some light down in here. You can see right there the melted stud right behind that red wire coming off the Ford in reverse buzzer. That's too much light. Way too much light. Anyways, that's where it's melted. You can see it's gotten hot because it's discolored and it's also rusted. Um, but anyways, it's stuck too. It won't. Someone's got it flipped upside down. It's stuck can't even adjust it. But anyways, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the main negative loose. We're gonna come in here behind here. We're gonna take all four of the main connections off the back. <clears throat> we're gonna label them. These two outer ones are the field wires. And then uh, this top one goes back to the armature and the bottom goes up to the controller. Um, anyways, we're gonna take those loose. Then we're gonna take the linkage rod out and we're gonna remove it from the frame of the cart. And then we're going to take loose all the uh, the low current wiring for the key switch and the pedal switch and all that. And then there's two bolts down here that we're going to remove. This one here and this one here. And we can take the whole module out. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the lower bracket in and uh, I'll use that to bolt the new module up to. So anyways, let me start taking this stuff apart and uh, I'll get you back once I get it disassembled show you what I've done and then we'll start getting uh, the wiring done for the Ford and reverse switch that we're gonna mount up here on the, uh, the firewall. That's what I call it, the firewall. And uh, we'll bring you back when we get it done. our board off it's a new board the customers already melted it a few times we talked them into doing this heavy duty upgrade uh, but anyways you can see what's happened one of the field studs melted off that's where it's getting stuck the contacts getting sucked up in the, uh, the board anyways we got that off let's keep disassembling stuff and uh, like I said I'll bring you back when we start doing the wiring show you how to hook everything up Guys, we're over here on the bench. I'm gonna show you how we make the wiring harness for the switch. We got three colors of wire here, orange, gray, green. Just sticking with the standard uh, color scheme for the PDS carts. Orange will be our reverse, gray will be our feed, green will be our forward. And uh, we've got six female spades and one male spade. I'll show you how that plays in. Some wire loom just to make it look neat. And of course the F and R switch. So I'm gonna get everything made up, put together, and I'll explain to you what I've done. Guys, so we got the harness made up. Three colors, orange, gray, green, like I said. Gray is your feed wire. We put a uh, number 10 or a 1032 ring terminal on the end. That's gonna go on the red wire on the solenoid, the small post. Um, so whenever you give it gas, the micro switch sends power to the solenoid. It's gonna also send power on this gray wire. It's gonna go through the harness up to the forward and reverse switch to the center post, all right? Then we got the orange and the green plugged in as well with the female spades. Notice the way it's wired. When you press this, the opposite terminal makes contact. 
So it's to the it's on the F to the left. The green one is going to send the power. It's going to come in on gray and go out green. And when I go to R, the opposite's going to happen. It's going to come in on the common post in the center and it's going to go out on the orange. Orange is going to be our uh, reverse wire. Now let's take a look at the other end and show you what I've done. Like I've already showed you the, the ring terminal there. That's going to go to the solenoid. I'll show you where that goes on the cart. Orange, this is your reverse. I've got two ends on it, if you'll notice. This female end is going to plug into the contactor module, and this male end is going to plug into the existing orange wire on the golf cart's harness, and that's going to send power up to the controller to enable the half speed when you go to reverse. That way it doesn't run wide open. It's a female connector on the cart, so we put a male connector on the end of this, and I just put a little zip tie there as a strain relief to keep it from uh, ripping itself out because I did crimp them both together in there. And then lastly, the green wire, again, another female, it's gonna go to the other um, pole on the contactor. So once we get the contactor installed, I will uh, install this and I'll show you how we hook it up to everything one more time. And I'm also gonna throw a diagram up on the screen at some point to show you how all this is wired up as well. All right, so here's our module. It's taking a few days for it to come in, so we're back on this project. I'm gonna show you make, how to make your connections on here before I put it in the cart. We're gonna mount it to the mountain plate where we took the old F and R board off of. But anyway, it's pretty simple. These uh, back two posts here, opposite where the little spades plug in. These back two are your series. They go to your field wires, S1, S2. Those are the, uh, the ones at the three o'clock and nine o'clock position on the F and R board, all right? Then we got this one here. This post goes to A1, which that'll most likely be the uh, 12 o'clock position on the F and R board. And then depending on how your cart's wired, it could be a little different. Someone could have changed it or the marathon carts are different from the fleet carts. But anyways, and then this last post here, that's gonna go to B positive on the, uh, the controller or off the solenoid, one of the two, just on the controller side of the solenoid. So S1, S2, uh, A2, or excuse me, A1, and then B positive there. And then these three um, connectors here, the center one's gonna be our common, all right? That's gonna be our ground. We're gonna put ground on there. Black wire, we put a spade connector on. This one on the right is going to be our reverse, and then the one on the left is going to be our forward. And that's from the, uh, the green and the gray that we made on that pigtail. So I'm going to get it mounted on the plate, put it in the cart, and we're going to show you uh, what it looks like after it's all wired up. All right, guys, back over here on the cart now. Got everything, the low current stuff wired up. Haven't put the module in yet because I wanted to show you the low current stuff. Uh, before Just so you can see it a little easier. So like we talked about earlier. We got the uh, Gray wire, which is the enable wire for the contactor on the positive side of the small post of the solenoid the red side Some of you might notice I did replace the solenoid um, When I went to put this wire on I noticed that this terminal had also got melted too and this was loose inside So we went ahead and put a new one on anyways, so that's going to feed pot power to the switch and the switch is going to direct it to forward or reverse. Note from the editor, uh, I forgot to mention this while I was explaining this on the golf cart, but we removed three wires uh, from the micro switches on the F and R board. A red one, an orange one, and a blue one. The red one goes in the center of the two switches and that's the power feed from the reed switch. The blue one is on the right-hand side or the driver's side um, of the car. That's the one that goes up to the key switch. And then the orange one is the reverse wire that feeds power up to the controller. So let's cut back to the video and I'll explain to you how we're hooking everything up. All right, so what else have we done? This red wire here is your reed switch wire. I know this is all jumbled and kind of hard to see. The reed switch has been bypassed on this cart and it's going straight to main positive. But what we've done is we've plugged it into the blue wire that goes up to the key switch. So reed switch wire plugs into the blue wire 
it goes up to the key switch. When you cut the key switch on, the power comes back down through to the green wire that comes out of the harness. All right, this blue wire is what was plugged into the Ford and reverse module. Anyways, green wire feeds power into this green wire, which goes over to the micro switch, the pedal switch, and the pedal box. And then it returns back on the red wire from this plug, which turns on the solenoid and the controller, also sending power to the gray wire. All right, so it's really simple. Uh, and then one other thing, find the orange wire here. This is the orange wire that we made. That's, this end is going to plug in right here. This end is going to plug into the module, and this is the existing orange wire in the harness. It goes up to the, uh, the four pin plug on the controller up here that enables half speed for reverse. So that's how we do the low current wiring for this Ford and reverse module. All right, guys, back over on the cart. We got everything installed, and as promised, we're going to show you how we got it hooked up. Um, it's a little hard to see again because all the jumbled up mess but you can see we have our three uh, control wires green black is our ground and our common post orange is our reverse um, this post we've got our a1 just like we talked about on the bench it's hard to see it but it goes back to the motor this post here is the uh, b positive which is coming up over here to the controller side of the solenoid right here and then we've got our two series on the top here S1, S2, and um, anyways, we're getting ready to give this thing a, uh, a try, see if it chooches, but I just wanted to say one thing, if the cart runs in the wrong direction, based off of what you have selected here, um, it's just a simple fix of swapping these two um, series wires here. So all you gotta do is just swap them in location, and it'll ride, uh, drive the direction you want it to. Anyways, let's say and give this thing a chooch, and uh, get the battery hooked up first. We'll give it a chooch and see if it runs, and we'll call it from there. All right, we're doing a little off-camera testing, and the cart wouldn't run. So this is a pretty common issue that uh, happens with these DC motors on golf carts, so I just wanted to point this out before we moved on. Uh, cart, we can hear the two module clicking and the solenoid clicking, but the cart's not running. Um, We've already got a video on how to test a controller, so I'm not gonna get into detail too much about that, but I wanna show you what's happening. All right, we got test light on positive. We're probing M negative on the controller. And notice we've got output, all right? So this goes back to uh, A2 on the motor. Let's look back there, show you that. <clears throat> A2, actually, sorry, it goes to A1. Got power going to it now watch what happens power should go in a1 through the armature and out of a2 here but look what it happens probe a2 gas pedal nothing nothing's coming out that lets us know we have a stuck motor brush so after we've already done all this work let's take the motor off tear it apart fix it put it back on um, i've actually got a rebuilt motor already just going to slap on for time's sake <clears throat> we'll keep that one rebuild it later but anyways just wanted to show you that all right we got the new motor installed everything's hooked up and we have it forward Let's see if it moves power and it goes forward reverse and we have a runner well that's how you install Ford and Reverse module. I'm gonna tidy up these wires, make it not look like a rat's nest. Got a few other little repairs to do. We'll take her out for a test drive. contactor in a series cart like I stated earlier it doesn't matter uh, if it's a workhorse or a fleet TXT 
the wiring diagram is pretty much the same the way the series is wired up so uh, you can pretty much follow the same diagram to get your contactor installed anyways if you have any comments leave them below any questions about how to do this leave them below put a heavy duty forward and reverse contactor on your like button whip it into forward and smash it for me and consider subscribing if you want to see more golf cart content how to's repairs we'll catch you on the next one